What the hell are you passing? Why the hell are you passing it in that side, man? Where, where? When I want to pass it shortly, just take your goddamn win and leave me alone. No passes are successful. Nothing, man. Despite scoring the last goal of the game, it still ended in your team losing. Who's to blame? The FIFA script. That's to blame. Sonaldo. Sonaldo. Post has been hit. Come on. And Adama. To uh, easy game, pretty much. Uh, we're playing away, so we have a disadvantage. But uh, come on, FIFA 20. Don't destroy me. Two red cards, what the hell happened? And they didn't have any opportunity, but let me tell you something. This is the type of match in which the AI is pretty much gonna have one opportunity and they're gonna score from it because FIFA. What's up guys, this is Rekt and welcome back to the Spurs career. All right, we have uh, the first match in the group stage. Uh, it's against Bayern. Let's just attend the press conference and let's just go. Um, I need to rush a little bit because uh, FIFA 21 is just around the corner. It's like a, a week left, so I'm gonna do my best to rush to get to the final, to the Champions League final and maybe to end the Premier League season as well. What is this? There's a good chance we will win. Yep, yep, yep. I like how... Uh, I started this career mode like two months ago and I have, haven't done anything for it and now in the last possible seconds I'm gonna do like 90% of the work. So much like in school, much like with uh, homeworks. I'm gonna simulate uh, if we're gonna have uh, unnecessary matches and or easier matches. Like in the group stage I don't know what the uh, opponents are. We have Bayern but the rest is probably gonna be uh, very um, weak compared to Spurs, so maybe we will assimilate that as well. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But Bayern, this is going to be quite a challenge, and it's going to be the most difficult opponent we are going to face so far in this career. Dyer, Adama Traore, 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 good one. Now it's a foul, actually. It's a foul, and it's a very dangerous position for Neuer's uh, goal. Let's see, it's uh, Heung Min Son. Let's see, Son. With the execution, Sonaldo, Sonaldo, close. And we need the three points. We need to start very well this uh, group stage. But against Bayern, it's going to be quite a difficult task, especially because their attacking force is uh, tremendous. Let's see, it's uh, Thomas Müller, Müller for Nabri, Nabri, but it's Loris with the intervention. Let's see the throw from Loris to K Havertz, Havertz for Son. Son, it's uh, Havertz again. Havertz, Havertz, it's a pass for Adama, 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 it's Kilian. Oh, Kilian, uh, not the best. Tiago, 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 for Coutinho, let's see the follow up, it's another cross, and Müller, whoa. Yeah, miscued that one. Miscued, miscued it pretty badly, so remains nil nil. Pretty even so far. Traore, Traore turns around. Traore finds Mbappe. It's a pen. It's a pen. Oh, what a what a late intervention there, and it's the greatest opportunity for Spurs to go in front. Let's see it again. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. So, an intervention from the back, no chance. And let's see, Kilian. Kilian. Oh, Neuer. What? This is the second time Spurs has um missed. I think. Um from a penalty in this uh, season, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, they need to work on that. But uh, what a shame, what a pity. Let's see Bayern's uh, retaliation. It's a great pass for Coutinho on the left side. Let's see Coutinho's uh, follow up. He is just outside of the box and it's a cross and nobody. Okay, we got lucky there, honestly. Let's see Havertz. What a pass for Adama Traore, Traore. Let's see Adama, Adama entering the box, Adama tries on his own! Um, well, he's no Mbappe, that's for sure. Adama Traore is in uh, maybe no position to do something like this, to be that selfish. I don't know what to say, but we wouldn't like to see more of the same. Speaking of more of the same, Adama Traore is that player that uh, replaced Lucas Moura in um, this season, and so far he's done a good job, but uh, not in this particular match, unfortunately. So on, another attack from Spurs. So far in this match, Spurs uh, has created more attacking opportunities. So I'd say that they are they uh, deserve to win it. And Adama, oh, it's a goal. Adama Traore. Maybe I spoke too soon. Definitely, I spoke too soon. And Adama Traore to put them in front. 
What's going on with the cameraman, dude? Anyway, let's see the replay. Bro, look at this cross. Fantastic, and the heading efforts, perfect. But, dude, how did that even go in? This is just ridiculous, especially for Neuer's standards. Let's be honest. Like, there's so many things that make no sense. First and foremost, Neuer didn't save this easy, easy ball. That's one. Uh, second... Adama Traore scored with a heading effort, which never happens. He's not that tall. He's not the greatest jumper. He's that, I don't know what to say. That's kind of um, rare, right? And uh, bro, and also the cross was the cross was perfect. And usually, we've seen that this in this season uh, we didn't prefer to cross at all. We didn't even concentrate on uh, training um, this aspect of the game because you know it, it doesn't work that well for our team. So. Wow, just three things that have combined really well. Three unlikely things that made us uh, score somehow. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. It's uh, it's actually fantastic. And it, justice has been served as well because we didn't score from that penalty uh, and we got really unlucky. Why don't you run, Mbappe? 54% possession for uh, Bayern, but that doesn't matter as much because they're trailing. Possession doesn't matter. And let's see, it's Kay Havertz. Oh, Hernandez with a fantastic intervention. He he saved the day there. It's Kay Havertz. Havertz. Nah, he needs to work on the passes. He's just uh, terrible when it comes to these uh, through balls or attempted through balls towards Adama Traore, who is still the hero of this match so far. He's the only one who scored. Adama Traore. And let's see, it's Leva. Yeah, it's a goal, yeah. Sooner or later, they would have scored because uh, we didn't concentrate on the defensive side and it is what it is, 1-1. Doesn't really stop the attacking play. And let's see the pass. Oh, the nutmeg as well. We got really unlucky, but uh, thankfully, Loris was paying attention. And let's see, it's it's going to Havertz. Havertz, but Sule. They got lucky. Really, really lucky. It's so frustrating, man, this match. Come on, we need to... We need to beat them, honestly. Like, Bayern, this, it, is this the Bayern that won in real life? No way, man. No way. What is this? It shouldn't be this difficult. We definitely are more than capable of getting the result today. Of getting the win. Let's see, it's Isoko. It's Kilian. Kilian. Uh, let's see the cross. It's a dangerous situation. Aurier, though. Man, Aurier has saved us many times today. Has had great interventions. And let's see the counter-attack. It's Kilian. Kilian, it's not offside. That's uh, Heung Min Son. Heung Min Son. 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 Sonaldo. 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 Pa! Post has been hit. Come on. Incredible the amount of uh, misfortune surrounding this uh, Tottenham squad. Incredible. Penalty missed. In the first half. Then this happens. In the last sequences of the match. Last 20 minutes of the match. Incredible, man. And of course, as always, we're gonna actually lose the game as well. We're gonna get no points from this encounter. Because you can't put up with uh, this amount of uh, BS that's going on. No freaking way. Please, please defend well. Okay, Alder Viral. Let's go, Sisoko for Adama Traore. Go, Adama Traore. 99 pace, the flash. Back at it again. Back at it again, uh, Adama Traore, this is it. If we don't score here, then it's over. All hope is lost. Let's see, Kilian, Kilian, and Sonaldo. Ah, right there, should have been near post, not far post. Come on, Sonaldo. Sule. Jesus Christ, and that pass from Mbappe was fantastic. Look at the statistics as well. Five shots for us on target. Two shots for the opposition. 1-1. One, one. Are you serious, man? And it's uh, not offside. Oh, he didn't pass. Great. Great. It's one of those uh, few moments in which uh, I'm glad that uh, the pass didn't register. Dumb game. And Havertz! Yes! K Havertz! K Havertz! 80, 83rd minute and K Havertz to score and maybe, maybe to give us the three points. This is why Spurs has paid so much money for these players. Adama Traore and K Havertz. They are... Making the difference today. We just need... Well, just, right? As if it's gonna be easy, but still. We need to um, defend, to conserve the results. Because we're close to getting the three points that we really, really deserve. Bayern hasn't shown anything, man. 
today. Nothing. Honestly. Maybe the expectations were set too high. That could be true. That's That might be the case. But still, come on. They didn't play as well as Tonham. So we need to... We deserve the win. And we need to get it. That's basically it. Let's see the pass. It's for uh, Kilian. 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 Full Sule. And let's see Sisako towards Son. That was a bad idea from uh, Sisako, unfortunately. Just minutes left until the final whistle of the match. Come on, guys. Come on, you Spurs. Please. Please. No more BS. No more bad fortune for us. No more good fortune for Lewandowski and his squad. Please, guys. Oh, no. Carvajal. Carvajal. Carvajal with the cross. And please do well, guys. Oh, yeah, man. Orie has saved us so, so many times today. He's argu arguably more important, or has been more important than uh, Adama Traore and Havertz. Because he, if not for his interventions, it would have been... Bayern would have scored four times, I guess. I think. About four times. And let's see Adama and K. Havertz! Oh, Okay, okay. It's the final uh, attacking play. It's curious that the referee is still letting this... Attack commence, even though he showed two minutes of at a time, and it's already the 95th one. And now he, he, okay, 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 dude, whatever. Molin Butaku, I guess, from the Romanian league. Anyway, whatever. We got the win, guys. We got the win, and uh, it was kind of difficult, but uh, it is what it is. But look at this, man. I, I cannot stand this. 11 shots, 7 on target for Spurs, 2 goals. Bayern, 4 shots, 2 on target, 1 goal. Are you serious, man? As I've said, we deserve to the win clearly. We had a penalty missed, a missed penalty as well. Come on, man. It would have been so unfair if we wouldn't have had the um, win today. Let's say the post-match interview with uh, George Stefan, whose uh, poker face is interesting. Sisako, continuing his hot run of form. What do you think? Uh, he deserves all praise, definitely. Played well. The defense has played pretty well, especially Aurier. I really enjoyed his... Uh, his um, performance today. Your team scored a decisive goal. What do you make of the game? It's time to focus on our next match. Classic. And let's see. Managed to turn the tide. And was the win ever in doubt? Uh, we were the stronger side. That's actually true. There's no BS. It's actually true. That's um, And everybody uh, should agree, right? All right, bros. We have uh, the match against uh, Leicester City. Now, Leicester is one of those teams that's uh, kind of powerful. So, I don't think we should sim the match but the rest like i guess we should sim with city united chelsea leicester and uh, liverpool maybe if i haven't mentioned that already so that's pretty much it and the rest we're gonna just sim because we need to rush a little bit because fifa 21 is uh is coming man fifa 21 is uh coming really fast so yeah i don't trust the sim match at all because uh i also play in the romanian league with uh, one of the middle of the pack teams and the sim match always destroys us and Spurs given the fact that it's kind of middle of the pack in the Premier League as well I feel like if I would go against Leicester in a sim match they will defeat us especially because it's uh, an away game as well so you know they scored an average of uh, five goals per match which is insane insane and Adama to uh that finesse wasn't uh, wasn't on point, and it's going on the counter attack. So far, no real uh, opportunities created by either team. It was just one shot from Adama Traore, but maybe now it's Sonaldo. Son, hang me, Son, hang me, Son, hang me, Son. Uh, Schmeichel, great intervention from uh, Schmeichel there. It remains uh, nil nil, but uh, Spurs is looking great so far. They are creating opportunities, and this is it. This one nil, easy. Oh, <laughs> Kylian Mbappe, one nil, easy. 21st minute, Spurs manages to score and uh, it's uh, it was to be expected, honestly, because they were the better team. They're trying to come back in this match, uh, Leicester, but uh, are they strong enough to do it? To go against this uh, enhanced Tottenham squad? I mean, sure, they might score, but uh, are they going to be able to defend well? That's the biggest issue, because uh, Spurs has uh, transferred... Uh, um, lots of great players on the attacking side. They boosted their attacking side quite a lot. So the defense is the same as last season, but uh, the offense is uh, extremely boosted. Oh, 
Kilian almost to scoring his second goal. Out of all the three new players that came to Spurs this season, um, only Kei Havertz managed to score a hat-trick so far. Which is uh, pretty interesting. He, uh, he wasn't in, on the top of the list. Nobody would have expected him to be the first one to score a hat-trick, but uh, here we are. Uh, obviously, everybody thought that Mbappe would score it. And uh, obviously, Adamachari was uh, the third uh, in that list. Let's see, it's Barnes. Where's Jamie Vardy, though? Where is their player? I haven't seen Jamie Vardy at all in this game. Oh, it's an interesting cross, and Ayose Perez. That's uh, that's kind of a desperate attempt, and uh, it's uh, curious because it's just the 38th minute. It's not the time to do something like this, to try your luck with something like that. What were the chances of that going in? Probably about zero, right? Kind of a disappointing uh, first half for uh, Leicester so far. Would have expected more of a um, um, competition, but uh, here we are. Although, Spurs uh, didn't manage to score more than one, so at least they uh, have been defending well. Um, Leicester. However, Mbappe! Mbappe Kylian. Uh, he scores yet again right before the break. Doubles the advantage. And, uh, well... I think it's going to be an easy win for Tottenham, judging by uh, how the first half uh, has looked like. Well, I don't think Leicester has the strength necessary to come back in this match. I don't even know if they have the strength necessary to score um, once, but to score twice, is, there's no way. I don't, I don't see it happening unless some miracle is going to happen or some insane new tactic is going to be implemented in the second half, but I don't I, I really don't see it happen. No, oh, they're still creating a great opportunity. Let's see Havertz and Chilwell. I think it's a foul here at Chilwell, yeah. Havertz with a late intervention. It's not gonna be a yellow card. I use appears to go out, which is kind of curious. Because I feel like he's been playing uh uh he he's been the best player from uh, Leicester so far, but okay. Madison, we didn't see him Vardy nowhere to be seen on the pitch. Didn't even come on. Aurier. Again, Aurier. What a fantastic defender, man. Let's see the passes for K. Havertz. Havertz. Havertz being followed by Evans. Havertz to pass it. Well, and it's Adama. Adama. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Tiki Taka. Spurs. Jesus Christ, man. He could have uh, shot easily. He could have scored there. Uh, Adama Traore, but he tried. He, he preferred the pass. Towards uh, Son, and he scores no problem. Into an open goal. And it's 3-0, yeah, it's easy. We're just waiting for the final whistle of the match, because uh, honestly, nothing can be done today. To change the result, Tottenham is going to go home with three points from Leicester's uh, side. Maybe it would be very important for Leicester to score. Uh, maybe the honorable goal. Maybe it will boost their morale. Or not necessarily boost, but um, it wouldn't bring the this defeat won't bring the morale fully down, right? Because a three 0 would be horrible, but a three one maybe it's not gonna be that bad. Oh, Madison. Okay, okay. Obviously, they're gonna probably hope that uh, they can actually come back uh, in this match, but with so little time left. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, it's gonna happen. There's no way. Even if they score once more, I'm pretty sure that George Stefan is gonna start uh, time wasting, shamelessly time wasting. La Mela, it's Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe it was a foul, but ooh, the hat trick for Kylian Mbappe. Well, well deserved, to be honest. It was a foul as well. He left an advantage in the box, which is uh, pretty interesting. Oh no, it wasn't in the box. Okay, okay, I see. I see, but still, Kylian Mbappe managed to score, and it's 4-1. No chance for Leicester today, and Kylian Mbappe has uh, pretty much made the difference, right? He has uh, scored three goals, which is the actual difference. All right, Kylian Mbappe to get the ball home. Great trophy for him, and uh, a great start at Tottenham Hotspur, honestly. He scored so many times already, and uh, he didn't play that much, to be honest. All right, Leicester absolutely demolished as well in Premier League. Look at this, nine, 9 shots, 6 on target for Spurs, 4 goals. It's alright. But Leicester, 1 shot on target, 1 goal. Come on, dude. And it was a heading effort, dude. Come on. 
and FIFA 20 as well. Now that's the post-match interview. Mbappe's performance, breathtaking. Clearly, congratulations, winning streak, we're focused on long-term success, definitely, and more competitive match. Well, give them full credit. Uh, Leicester's played okay, but uh, we played uh, in a phenomenal way. Okay, guys, the match against West Brom Albion in the EFL Cup. Now, usually I get demolished in these simulations, but let's be honest. Come on, we have Mbappe, we have Havertz, we have everybody. Please, don't destroy me. Ooh, this is what I'm talking about. Easy game. We're playing at home. Southampton is a maybe middle of the pack. I don't think we're going to have any problems. Please, please, don't rob me of this victory. 2-0. Easy game. Easy money. And, uh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Uh... In, champ in the group stage, we have matches against, uh, well, Bayern, that's an important, we need to play it, obviously, uh, and we did, but now we have against Olympiakos and Zagleb Lubin. What are the chances, dude? We need to sim this as well, honestly. Easy game, pretty much. Uh, we're playing away, so we have a disadvantage, but uh, come on, FIFA 20, don't destroy me. <laughs> Alright, pretty easy against Brighton, even though it's away, we need to win it, honestly. Come on, you Spurs. 3-0. Yeah, it's just too good, man. This uh, this team is just too good. Easy game. All right, the match against Watford. Another easy game. I would expect, like, 4-0. Let's see it. 3-0. Cool. Son with uh, two goals as well. Nice. Great. What is this? What wh What is this? Zaglebia Lubin. 5-0, easy game, sim match. I have no problems with this one. I have no doubts that we're gonna get 2-0 uh, only. Alright. And Davies squared. What the hell? Anyway. Ooh, the match against Liverpool. This is... Uh, we need to play this one. Alright, guys. Uh, the last match for today is gonna be against Liverpool to secure the first place. Fix the problem myself. Sure. Who the hell? What? Two red cards! What the hell happened? Sanchez, Jesus Christ, Vertonghen, okay, and Dyer as well. What happened the last ma in the last match? Jesus Christ, man, I wasn't even paying attention to this. God damn it! Uh, we're playing away. Now that's gonna be kind of difficult, but uh, we'll see. And still, Adama Traore is just uh, has just recovered from an injury, so he's kind of uh, questionable. His performance is gonna be questionable. Mike Dean. The referee. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, probably going to be a very difficult match for us. It's going to be probably the same as uh, the one with um, Manchester City, where we kind of struggled. Or against Bayern as well. But um, we'll try our best. Definitely. I mean, uh, we have uh, problems in the defense, but the offense is going to be great. Maybe not Adama Traore, because he's, uh, as I've said, he's just recovering from... He has just recovered from an injury, but uh, Mbappe and Havertz... Maybe they uh, will help us. And also Son. The match for the first place. If Liverpool wins, they're gonna go in the first place. If we win, we're gonna distance our ourselves in the first place. It's gonna be very difficult. Look at the press, though. Jesus Christ. Full-on press. Seventh minute. No uh, opportunities created so far, but uh, I'm not feeling it, man. It's gonna be extremely difficult because they're pressing so much. I hate it. It's my most difficult matchup whenever the opposition is pressing a lot because uh, I'm an idiot and I usually lose the ball for no reason. No good reason, anyway. Let's go, Son. Son. Well, he needs the support. He needs somebody to run well. And it's uh, Havertz. What? Oh, Robertson with the intervention. And Allison got lucky there. Jesus Christ. Maybe a volley would have been better, but... Uh, unlucky. But the cross was phenomenal, though. Let's see, it's Kay Havertz. Havertz, Havertz, passes it for Sonaldo. Sonaldo, Sonaldo, Sonaldo. Jesus Christ, not even... Not even a corner. Are you serious, man? Mbappé. Oh, Havertz. Super unlucky Havertz, man, today. So far. I mean, in this match in particular. God. Son. We had two similar opportunities created by uh, Havertz. But uh, ball didn't get to him uh, properly. And uh, we didn't score. It's the 21st minute and they didn't have any opportunity. But let me tell you something. This is the type of match in which the AI is pretty much going to have one opportunity. And they're going to score from it because FIFA. 
I'm telling you, this is exactly how it's gonna go down. One freaking shot, one go. That's gonna, that's how it's gonna go down. Oh, look at that gap in the defense and Sonaldo goes on, goes on, son, 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 son. Allison, get out of here. What? I, I, I'm such a, such an idiot for doing that. My God, what was I thinking? Bar roll there. It was too early to ball roll. Damn. I also could have done something else. I mean, it would have been an easy goal, but damn. Wasted it for no reason. Mbappe, let's see the pass for Kylian. Kylian, Kylian, it's it's a short goal, this one. Adama! Yes! Oh, we got lucky, we got lucky. I, th I, I actually thought it was BS again, but nope. Adama Chore to score, yep. Yes, dude, yes. <laughs> easy, easy. And uh, curious that uh, they have Adrian in... Uh, the goal space instead of Allison. In this match, I wasn't paying attention to the transfers that they have uh, made. But why, why would they sell Allison and get nobody um, as a replacement? Like using Adrian feels like a mistake, though. Look at the press, though. And Dombele. We didn't concentrate enough. We gave in to the press, and now we might uh, concede a goal. See the cross, Alderweireld, no! Alderweireld, what are you doing? What was that? Clearance, where are you clearing it? Straight to Henderson. Freaking hell, man. Jesus Christ, man, what was that mistake? And it will cost us a lot. Let me see the replay, let me see the BS that has happened. Look at, what the hell? And Henderson to score the... Probably the easiest goal he would score in his life. Are we gonna try the impossible is the question. Yes. Yes. It's Ronaldo with the shot directly from a corner. But uh, what were the chances of that going in? And at 1-1, what a stupid, what a curious decision, right? But yeah. However. Ho 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 ho. Havertz, please score. What the hell? Why would the header? Bro, Havertz. He used his... The exterior of his head well, but not his interior. What the hell was that decision? Jesus Christ, man. What a great opportunity. He should have volleyed. And he chose to use his head in that way. I would be extremely disappointed if we wouldn't get this win. Because, uh, let's be real, man. We got mega unlucky. Hyper unlucky. Giga unlucky. However... Come on, dude. Jesus Christ, man. Adrian new meta. It's not offside at Salah. Mo Salah. Mo Salah. See the cro No! No! What? Oh, Jesus! Jesus! What a perfect cross, dude. Dude, what the hell, man. Nobody marked that guy there. I didn't expect anything. And... Mm, as I've said, man. Dumb game. What a stupid game. Heavily favors the opposition for no reason whatsoever. They're playing too well. They get super lucky. Adrian cannot be beaten too many times. And Mbappe, look at that intervention, man. The last possible second. Are you, me you mean to tell me that that is legit? There's, not, there's no such thing, man. In Premier League. Dude, look at that. How? I specifically wanted to pass it um, in the air. So that he won't be able to get to it and he still gets to it. What the hell? Look at that, dude. Dude, dude, dude. This is BS. This is the... The BS uh, uh, switch has been flipped. And the script intervened. This is... This is freaking ridiculous, man. There's no freaking way, man. Look at that pass, man. And also the shot and he blocked it to give me hope. However, the rebound went straight to him. To the opposition as well. Screw this, man. Ori again with the intervention, and let's see. Look at, look at the pass, man. Look at that pass. That's not the direction my controller was indicating. Freaking idiot. Stupid game. Stupid when the script intervenes, and it's so clear, man, that the script intervened because uh, I've observed nothing could be, could have been done, man. Look at these passes, man. What the hell are you pass? Why the hell are you passing it in that side, man? Where, where? When I want to pass it shortly. No, screw this game, man.
Just take your goddamn win and leave me alone. No passes are successful, nothing, man. We haven't had any opportunities whatsoever in this uh, second half, man. Come on, Mbappe, just score. Too little, too late, but still. So I find it so unbelievably frustrating, man, when you, ha you have so many opportunities. Look at this, we had eight shots, six on target, freaking two goals, man. And Liverpool with 11 shots, but because they demolished us in the last sequences of the match. In the second half, since we conceded that one goal, because the freaking idiot uh, passed it straight to Henderson, the flip has been switched. Scripting intervened, nothing worked anymore, nothing man, nothing, the passes went straight to the opposition, nothing worked man, incredible man, I get so incredibly frustrated because I get cheated man, It's the game was rigged from that moment on, the game was absolutely rigged, impossible to win dude, unless I would have been extremely try hard and maybe to try to pass it r exactly to the guy that's absolutely unmarked, right, like to be extremely, extremely concentrated on the easiest passes just to execute the easiest passes because otherwise if you want to pass with the through ball instant pass to the opposition stupid script i cannot stand it you your run is over now what shut the fuck up that's what's up proud of what we accomplished yeah sure despite scoring the last goal of the game it still ended in your team losing who's the blame the fifa script that's the blame Players needed a reality check, we were the better team. We were the better team, screw this bull BS game, man. Bull crap game. Where did it go wrong today? FIFA script destroyed us. Blame is mine. Yeah, sure, I guess. Blame is mine. Easy. God damn it, man. Anyway, we should uh, move on, but uh, man, when the, the script intervenes, good luck winning anything. Unless you try hard at your best, right? You try hard... You play your hardest to pass it uh, to your uh, your teammates. Unless you do that, nope, nothing works. But anyway, it doesn't matter as much. It's just uh, it's just frustrating in the moment. But in the long run, in the season, we're gonna win everything. We're gonna um, be victorious. There's no way. There's, uh, it's impossible to lose uh, um, Premier League or uh, Champions League. Uh, we're gonna get to the semifinals probably. So yeah, guys. That's, that was it for today's episode. Thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button and also press that bell button to be notified when I'm going to post new videos. And join me next time to see what are we going to do with Spurs uh, moving forward in Champions League and also in the Premier League. Alright, goodbye guys. Goodbye.